Chapter two, formulas. There's been a lot of questions on chapter two, and it's probably one of the most important chapters in Excel, <clears throat> dealing with formulas, if statements, and absolute cell references. Everyone's doing fine with the formulas. I think everyone knows by now, to do a basic formula, the easiest way is to go to your auto sum button, and you could choose auto sum, which would be to add, um, average, which would average a group of numbers, count, count how many cells have content in it, Max, finding the highest level in a range, and min, finding the lowest level in a range. Um, I've had a few questions today already on the if statements for chapter two with assessment four. So I wanted to make sure you understand if statements. Um, an if statement is asking a question more or less. If the salesman earned or made more than 95,000, then they get this. If they did not, then they get that. So it's more or less kind of a statement that you're finishing. There's a great example of if statements on page 54 in your book where it deals with grades. If you get a 91% in this class, I'll give you an A. If you get an 89%, you would get a B. So I can set my grade book up to do that and it would set it or would change, put down your grade depending on what your numeric number was. Now in the assessment four, what it has is it wants you to write an if statement with the following information, saying if the contents in B4 are greater than 150,000, you're gonna insert the word platinum. Um, I'm gonna quick go ahead and do what's called a control tilde. Uh, tilde is the key to the left of your number one. If I do control tilde, I can see my formulas. I want you to see what my if statement looks like, and you might have to pause the video and kind of write it down to help you. Um, the if statement should look like this. And again, it doesn't matter if you use capitals or not in if statements. Equal if B4 is greater than 150, comma, and then I put platinum in quotes because that's what I wanted to put in the cell, comma, if B4 is greater than 100,000, comma, in quotes, I have gold. If B4 is greater than 75,000, comma, silver is in quotes. If B4 is greater than zero, bronze is in quotes. And at the end, I've got four end parentheses because I've got four different um, items in there. When I pressed um, control tilde then um, and I pressed enter after typing that formula in I got silver. If I go to my fill handle which is the bottom right hand corner and notice my thick plus sign when I go to the area of the fill handle it turns to a thin black plus sign. Now I can drag and it will copy the formula down. If I do a control tilde you'll see it adjusted. So right here it says if B5, if B6, if B7. So I didn't have to do the formula um, 10 times I was able to just copy it down. Now after you've done the level we have to figure out the bonuses. The bonus um, equation was a little bit different. If I do a control tilde what I'm saying here is equal hold on, if C4 equals bronze and notice bronze is in quotes comma none meaning they'll get no bonus. So bronze and none are in quotes there, comma, if, parenthesis, C4 equals silver, and that's in quotes, give them $3,000. If C4 is gold, give them $5,000. If C4 is platinum, they get $10,000. Again, I'm going to control tilde to turn that off. I'm going to double click my um, column headers to get the, the column to be the exact size it needs, and I'm going to go to my fill handle and drag it down. Now notice I can see there's two people who did not get a bonus and there are two people who got the platinum of $10,000. Now I know you guys can go in and type silver, gold, bronze. I will look in your formula bar and make sure there's a formula. If there's no formula you will not get the points for this assessment. Make sure you're doing the formula. Assessment 5 um, deals with absolute cell reference. I want to talk about absolute cell reference for a second and then I'll kind of show you how assessment five is supposed to be done. Each, each um, reference identifies a cell or a range in a worksheet and each cell reference can be relative, absolute, or mixed. Up until now you've worked with relative cell references meaning they adjusted. When I went to the fill handle and I would pull down a formula it would adjust to C5, C6, C7, so on. An absolute cell reference meaning you're, it's not going to adjust. So for instance, in this equation, in this occasion here, I'm going to take, let's start with the equal sign, the current quota, 
So in B4, 95,500, and I am going to multiply it by the 10% increase, which is in B15. So I click on B15. However, if I were to press enter and fill this down, that's a relative cell reference, meaning now it would say B16, B17, B18, and as you can see, there's nothing in B16, 17, 18, so we'd get errors. I want to make B15 a absolute cell reference. To make it absolute, I select it, and I what I need to do is put a dollar sign before the letter and a dollar sign before the row, so before the column and before the row. The easiest way to do that is your F4 key, it's a shortcut. F4, look, it took and put a dollar sign before the B and before the 15. If I hit F4 again, just for future references, now there's only one dollar sign. With only one dollar sign, it's a mixed cell reference, meaning the column here would adjust, but the row wouldn't. If I wanted a mixed cell reference the other way, I hit B4 again. Now notice the dollar signs before the column. So here the column would not adjust, but the row would. Press it again, we're back to relative with no dollar signs. One more time, we're where we need to be, absolute. Absolute cell reference has two dollar signs. I press enter and I see what the price difference would be if I had a 10% increase. I'm gonna go to my fill handle and drag it down. Okay, now the next step of assessment five says change it to a 20% increase. So I'm gonna look in here and I'm just gonna change it to a 20%, which is a 1.2. I'm just going to change this from 10 to 20 and notice how it just automatically adjusted. Save it and I will be looking for the 20% increase. I hope this helped with assessment 4 and assessment 5 with chapter 2. If any other questions occur, please don't hesitate to ask. Have a good day.